guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Heather and today we are gonna do a jackets haul. Before we get into that, I just wanna address the elephant in the room. I know I said like three months ago that I was back and I put a video out there and then I disappeared. So I just wanna to touch on it real quick. This year has been really hard for me, timing wise, outside of work and everything. In the beginning of the year, I was planning my wedding, and then we had the wedding, and then we had the honeymoon, and then I took a new job, and then once I did that, I was working like 65 hours a week, and I'm hoping it's gonna calm down soon, but it didn't really leave me a lot of time for things I love to do like YouTube. So I just wanna say real quick that I really appreciate everyone who has stuck in there with me, and waited for me to put up new videos and didn't just leave. I really appreciate you guys because I would love to do this for fun. And it's unfortunate that my life has kind of like uh, gotten a little crazy and I even have more craziness coming up that I'll bring it up in another video. But for now, I just wanted to say that and that I love you guys and thanks for watching. <clears throat> now that that's out of the way, Let's get into the video. The first jacket I'm gonna show you, I'm actually already wearing it. I've been wearing it all the time. It's from ASOS. It is a cropped jean jacket with a little shirling lining. I think that's how you say it. I don't know, I always pronounce everything wrong. <laughs> but it's so cute. It has it on the collar and on the inside. And I just love where it hits me. I feel like a lot of cropped jackets, especially for plus size, just are too short. And I want it cropped, but I don't want it to be like at my boobage area. So I think this one is a perfect length. I think it's very comfortable. This is a size 24 US. Um, no like arm problems, no movement problems. The only issue with the sizing on this one is the bottom button and even maybe the second to bottom button. I don't know if I would ever actually use because it's a little too tight around my stomach. Um, which is a little strange, I think, I feel like it. I almost feel like it flares out, but um, I would wear it open like this all the time. The other little things that I kind of notice on this jacket that kind of bother me is you can see the inside lining. They did not fill that fabric all the way through. They just put it at the front where the buttons are, so it looks like it's full shirling I don't know y'all are gonna probably roast me in the comments but <laughs> so it's like just a regular jean jacket on the inside but then you get that same effect I don't know I mean I think that would be better for like warmer weather um, and then it, to have that lining would have been better for colder weather so I'll be able to wear this probably in the summer too and not be as hot the one thing I also will mention as well this has no stretch to it at all so I know a lot of the torrid Denim jackets are very, very stretchy, and so if you're like in between the size, you can kind of fit into it. Um, this does not, so if this is too small for you, I would definitely size up. The other great thing that they have on ASOS is they have this jacket, but in regular length. They also have this jacket in black in like a camel color, and I don't, I'm not sure if those have the regular in the crop too. Maybe just. It might just be the cropped, but I love the options. I think that this was the cheapest jacket I got out of this haul, and honestly, I've been wearing it all the time. I think it is super cute. I love the way it looks, and it's just perfect. Just FYI, everything that I am showing you today will be linked below so that y'all can check out the prices because I am too damn disorganized to pull that out for you right now. All right, the next jacket is this green tour jacket. I love this so much. I literally, literally, between the denim jacket and this green tour jacket, I've been wearing it every single day. I love the olive green color. It is my favorite. I think it is so cute and I love that it has a little hood on it. It is a very thin jacket. I was expecting it to be like a thicker jacket. I don't know what I was expecting. It's kind of hard to tell some of the pictures on Torrid. I don't know if that's just me when it comes to stuff like this, but um, yeah, I didn't know what to expect. It kind of worked out because here in Texas, our weather is so unpredictable. One day it's 70 degrees and the next day it is 30 degrees right now. So 
This is perfect for that kind of in-between weather and I've been throwing it over dresses and shirts and literally everything. I've literally been wearing it every day. So I love it so much. It's a size four. I love where it hits me. It has these roll-up sleeves that snap if you want to. You can also zip the front if you want to and it also has a little tie i think it's a very cute jacket i think it's a great alternative to a cardigan just has a little bit more of character i would like to get a thicker kind of olive green jacket in the future but for now this is definitely perfect i love it a lot this does run on the smaller size than toward usually runs so if you were kind of in between i would size up um but I think anyone bigger than me wouldn't have fit this for. So this next one is a little bit plain Jane, but I really don't have like just a plain black hoodie or like bomber jacket or anything that's just like a plain black, easy to throw on with whatever I'm wearing. And I saw this one on ASOS that was pretty cheap and so I decided to try it out. And the one thing I always forget with ASOS Curve is that their brand when it comes to an all cotton item runs very very big on me and so i should always size down but for some reason i always order my normal size this black bomber jacket it's all cotton and i got it in a size oh dang i even i got it in a size 26 which that is even bigger than I normally order at ASOS. I normally order a 24. So no wonder this is huge on me. I hate it. I already know I'm gonna return it. I mean, it's really comfy. I think, I don't know, I don't remember. Maybe this is the cheapest jacket. I think this was like 25 bucks or something. Um, but obviously it's too big on me and not in the right way. Like it bubbles down at the bottom, makes my hips look even bigger than they actually are which I got some pretty big juicy hips, so <laughs> I don't need to get them any juicier. Um, but I, I'm disappointed in this. It's just huge. It's not the best quality. It's really, really thin, and I just don't like the way it fits. Um, you know, it might have been okay if I ordered about two or three sizes down. Um, I just, I, I'm not a huge fan. I don't think the quality is there. And usually ASOS has good quality, but I don't know. This one just didn't hit it for me. Even the zipper is kind of weird. It is like kind of like a plasticky zipper. It's very strange. And then the pockets too. The pockets aren't even like in a normal spot. The pockets are like on the side of your hips. I don't, I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to be like reaching back to put my hands back there. I don't know, it's very strange. So I already know this one's gonna go back, but you know, if you're into this, it's just an easy little cotton bomber if you're into it, but not for me. If y'all know of a good black hoodie or black bomber that y'all have gotten somewhere else, please put in the comments below because I'm looking, I'm looking for a perfect one for me. So just let me know, but this one is a nay for me and it is going back. All right, so the next jacket is also from ASOS. This one's actually a little bit different for me. It's not my normal style, but I thought it was really cute. It's almost like a, a giant parka, but thinner. So it's not a puffy jacket and has that Charling sheep, whatever, the sheep material <laughs> all along it and has this huge collar. I just think it's so chic for like a parka and it's really long and it's this beautiful light gray, almost light gray baby blue color. I don't know if it's showing on the screen like it is in person. It, all, it almost looks white on the screen to me, but I fell in love with this. I got this at ASOS and in a US 26. So this one, because it has no stretch at all, I decided to up to the 26. And it's actually a little bit big on me. I could wear it as a dress. Who knows, in this try-on, I might wear it as a dress. <laughs> Probably not. But I love that it completely zips up. It has this kind of asymmetrical zip. Um, and I just think it's so cute. I love that you have pockets 
and you can uh, tie it at the waist and make it really cute. And I just love the huge collar. And the collar actually turns into a hoodie if you want it to um, in the back. And I just, I don't know, I just think it's so cute. It's not anything I would have expected to have liked. Um, it's not my normal go-to. I definitely have never had anything like this. But I just thought, I found it so adorable. What do y'all think? Um, I don't know. And I, I think the lining is really cute on the inside. It has this kind of like pattern to it. Um, this is something I'll probably end up wearing the most during the winter. Um, even though it's not super thick, it's just big enough for me to wear a really nice sweater under it and be warm enough with this. Now, the next few, you'll see a little bit of an addiction. I was on the hunt for the perfect teddy bear coat. Last year, teddy bear coats came out. It was so awesome for everyone who wasn't plus size. And now, a year later, plus size girls can have teddy bear coats. So, I've been on a mission for like the past month to find the perfect teddy bear coat. I still don't think I've found it, but I have tried a lot of the options out there and so I just wanted to show you guys what I've tried. The first one that I got was from Eloquy and I got a size 26-28. This one has a really heavy weight to it and the fabric of the teddy, I love I love the way it feels. It's, it's like the softest feeling fabric that I, I think I've tried out of all of them. Um, I love the color. It's like a light kind of camel tan color. I was a little apprehensive when I bought before I bought it online because if you look online, I'll see if I can find the picture and put it here, but it kind of looks like a robe. I think it's even called like a teddy bear robe. I wasn't a fan of the coat's belt that makes it look like a robe, but I always kind of figured I wouldn't use that or just kind of leave it hanging so it wouldn't look like I'm literally, literally wearing a robe. I put the teddy bear coat down because it was super heavy and hot. So, but I love the length on it. I think it's a great length. I love the color. I just felt like I was being eaten alive in that coat. Um, it was huge on me and I, I just felt like if I had sized down maybe or maybe not, my arms would have fit better. I don't know. I really felt like a pimp in that coat <laughs> more than anything. I, I don't know if that's how you're supposed to feel in a teddy bear coat or maybe I'm just not used to a thicker kind of fluffy coat but to me I just thought there was too many things wrong with it one it looks like a robe two I'm being eaten alive and that's enough for me I really had a hard time deciding if I was gonna keep it or not but unfortunately if I'm not gonna wear it I need to return it the next teddy bear coat I thought was so cute it's from ASOS I got it in a size Oh, I got it in a 26. For some reason, I thought I got this in a 24. Well, that probably explains it, but this was the this was the one that I was eyeing for forever. They ran out of stock at ASOS, and then it went back into stock, and so I bought it as quickly as I could find it, and I think it's back in stock now, but I love it. It's like that mauve pink color. This is probably the heaviest coat out of them all. It has really cute little straps and little bells and buckles, but the biggest thing for me on this one, I mean, it's just massive. It's just way too big on me. I keep decide, trying to decide if I'm gonna get a smaller size, but at the same time, I'm like, okay, how often would I wear this? I don't like the way it looks closed either. It doesn't have a belt with it. It just has one button, and when it's closed, it's so boxy. It reminds me of that Kanye West song when they're like in those box shirt things. Um, you're such an effing hoe, I love it. Your boyfriend is a dork, McLovin. <laughs> I, I love that song, but no, I don't know. I just keep going back and forth because I fell in love with this coat online. I debated about it forever. It finally came. I obviously ordered a size or two way too big, and now I just, I don't know what to do. I feel like I should return it, um, especially if I don't like the way it looks closed, and it's just like, super boxy. I think that they, if they had just put a belt or something to kind of cinch in at the waist, this jacket would have been awesome. Definitely in a smaller size, but like it would have been awesome. I don't know. I just think that without that, 
it just looks a little bit boxy on me and I really don't want to be one of those Kanye West boxmen. My favorite Teddy coat of them all was um, this one from ASOS. It is, I originally got a size 24. It is the thinnest one of them all. Um, it makes me feel not so much like a pimp or one of Kanye's little box people. Um, it, but it is the longest, so that's the only reason why I still don't think it's the perfect teddy coat. I think if I had the length and like the collar of the Eloqui jacket, but then in this material, that would have been the perfect jacket for me. <laughs> but this one is the one I think I'm going to keep. Um, it's the thinnest, so it does, it's not as puffy on me. I don't feel like I'm being eaten alive. I really like it. It's comfy. Um, it has a little bit of stretch to it too, so it really moves well with you. The collar is smaller than the other jackets, um, but it has three little buttons um, to tie the coat, and I just find it so cute and like the perfect material for me. This original size that I got, the 24, was way too big on me. I'll show you here. It's huge. The arms, I mean like literally my arms were not coming out of it. So I went back to the side and I ordered the size 22 and that is the one that I think I'm going to keep and return this bad boy. Whew! Nelly, forgot how hot it is trying on these hauls and especially jackets when you're inside and the heat is blaring. Really, really smart, Heather. Anyway, I really hope y'all enjoyed this haul. I'm finally back, I think. <laughs> Let's not cross our fingers, but I'm pretty sure. I do have some hauls coming up for you. I just have to film them and edit them and upload them. Let's see if I get that far, but I have gotten some more things for you guys to see. Um, like I said before, all the links are going to be down in the description below. I will say overall, my favorite coat place right now for plus size coats is ASOS. I love ASOS now. I know I did a haul like a while ago and I was really disappointed in a lot of their clothes, but since then and over the summer, which were many and many hauls that you did not see, I have ordered so much from ASOS. I think the biggest hit and miss that I have with them is that the sizing can be really off. One, because they have different designer brands on there that you can buy from and each brand has its own sizing measurement. And also, ASOS Curves line, I've noticed, does run bigger unless it's a non-stretch item like this. So, um, just be aware of that. I hope y'all enjoyed this haul. I love you guys. I hope y'all have a fabulous Thanksgiving. Bye, guys.